So, Pancakers, I am so thrilled to be here with one of my all-time heroes, truly the number one chess player in the world, the youngest international grandmaster champion of all time, Mr. Magnus Carlsen. Why do I have bad breath? That was awful. For those of you, those Pancakers who don't know, I was, I'm kind of a big chess geek and I play a little bit of chess. I was on the high school chess team. True story, at one chess tournament, I saw a guy with mold in his ear. You may have heard this is a metaphysical van and you can go pretty much any place in the multiverse that you would like to go. Where would you like to go? To the sun. To the sun. Boom. <laughs> I, I'm not feeling it. You're not feeling it? Okay, how about we go to the inside of your brain and see how it all works? That works. You have a magnificent brain, and if it was exposed to the air, I would massage it. Um, That's not a sexual thing. It's, it's not even like a Jeffrey Dahmer thing. It's, I appreciate your absolute brilliance. You're the number one chess player in the world. Um, I'm pretty much the number one actor in the world, right? How can I disagree with that? What keeps you humble? We Norwegians, we are, we are taught from an early age that you, you shouldn't think or something, mm. which is a little bit, bit different from here where you're supposed to be something, you know? Because you have that boasting, be like, oh man, I took that guy down with my rook. I'm so badass. And your dad was like, Magnus, remember where you come from? That was the worst Norwegian accent ever. <laughs> <laughs> some people view success in chess as you have to be more of a warrior. And some people view chess as you need to be more of an artist. Which would you say that you are, and which of those is more true? I think I'm more of a warrior than an artist. But I like to find some kind of uh, art, some kind of beauty in my games. But the main goal is to win, and uh, that's the warrior. If there were a group of evil, villainous chess players and a group of good chess players, kind of like superheroes, which side would you join? In my dreams, um, there are several times evil chess players who make me lose for no apparent reason or trick me into not coming to the game and losing for, for that reason. So, I mean, in my dreams, I'm always one of the good guys. So I think I, think I would be uh, one of the good guys, yeah. That's fascinating. So you have dreams of evil, evil manipulative chess players? Yeah. Do they kind of look like this? <laughs> You know, when I was re researching doing this interview with you, I was a little intimidated because you're like the greatest at something in the world. But as I was researching you, what's odd to me is like you're a totally normal person. People think about chess geniuses as hanging out in their basement and obsessively like chewing on their own skin and, you know, maybe bodies hidden somewhere in the house. Well, you know, I'm only 21 years old, so give me some time to develop the crazy, you know. <laughs> Okay, good. Boom! Life's big questions. Lightning round. What is your biggest fear? To get uh, attacked by a big fish in an open sea. What does your name mean? The Great. Do you consider yourself a genius? Uh, no, I do not. What blows your mind? Magic tricks. <laughs> what is your life's big question? What is the big question that you wrestle with? whether there's a life after death. I had a firm conclusion when I was a child mm -hmm. that uh, after people die, they all gather uh, in the universe and use their power to start a new Big Bang and that this is just an infinite cycle. And that perpetuates the universe. Yes. That is really cool. Have you given this more thought as a, as a late teen or in your early adulthood? No, not really because um, I got internet in my room and I stopped thinking about such things. <laughs> the internet killed your, yes. your creativity. Yes. As it yes. does for so many of us. Yes. What would the first sentence of your autobiography be? I'm not a genius. And what would the title of your autobiography be? Magnus Carlsen, chess genius. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so YouTubers, here's your creative challenge for this metaphysical milkshake. Write down the title of your autobiography and also your first sentence. And Magnus, I'm going to make him read through all of them. We are going to read through all of the 
titles and the first sentences, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm sure they're going to make much more sense than mine. Than yours? Than mine did. <laughs> so write them down right now in the comment section below. Title of your autobiography and your first sentence. Let her rip. Go. Boom. Do it. Checkmate. Checkmate. You have soft, supple hands of a, of a chess player. Do you moisturize? These are delicate instruments for you, like a piano player. Of course, you could probably get your hands chopped off and you could still play chess with your stumps. Soul Pancake, subscribe!